Hey, this is just a, a quick video recording of using uh, the Horizon workrooms uh, with my MetaQuest 2 uh, linked up to my MacBook Pro. Um, so I've, a couple of people at work were asking me about this because I told them I, I was playing with it and I just wanted to kind of show what it's like. So this is me inside my uh, her, ooh, Horizon work office. So obviously much fancier than my real office, though my real office is nice. I used um, the desk tracking to map out my desk. This is more or less mapped to where my actual desk is in my office. And um, I can put my controllers down on my desk. And um, if I go back to, I think it's, so if I go into workrooms here, that's the app I was using. I'm gonna go back to resume. So now you can see if I like if I look down here, uh, it's mapping my hands kind of funny. But there, there are my hands now. But like, you can I don't know if this shows up in the video, but you can kind of see the pass through where my hands are, and this is more or less right where my MacBook is actually sitting on my desk. And so if I look up, this is the main monitor on my my MacBook right now. So if I um, if I go into this, I can close that. Um, so this, I mean, this is itself not particularly useful having just one monitor open, but um, I just want to close extra stuff I've got running here. But um, what's cool is that, I mean, I have two monitors in my um, my office as is, but what's cool is that I can add extras here. So if I click this and click that, Let's see, I've got the equivalent of three monitors running now. Um, and this is just my desktop on my MacBook Pro. So yeah, I can be here in my terminal and you know, run some, some homebrew commands or whatever. All my regular keyboard shortcuts for how I tile windows and all that stuff work. Uh, so I can, uh, you know, maybe I could start coding on a project if I wanted, so I could have you know, one version of, you know, I could have the, the web project over here. Um, so while that's running, I can try um, maybe CD into one of my, I don't remember on this computer right at the moment where all my projects are stored. But like, yeah, if I wanted to work on like my personal website or something, I could do like a PHP artisan serve on this. Oh, it's building PHP, so I can't actually do that at the moment. I have to wait for it to finish. Um, if I could do like NPM run develop, I think. Maybe it's dev. I don't remember what I have set up for the dev scripts for this. Um, but yeah, so that's running Laravel mix and all that stuff. Um, so the resolution here is not particularly amazing. And I kind of wish that they made the, um, a little easier to adjust the screens because what I'd like to do is I'd love to be able to just like drag these screens up a little bit because it's kind of, it kind of sits a little low for ideally I'd like to have my head up a little bit more while I'm working. If you look at my actual desk in real life, you'd see that it's, it's a little higher. Um, but I mean, this is the resolutions I think usable. Um, I'm definitely noticing the weight of the Quest 2 sitting on my face at the moment, so it's a bit, um, bit much. Um, you can also, like, you can mess with this and you can, like, you can put your office into pass-through mode. And I don't know if this is going to show up on the video or not, but, like, I can see my office with a really low, you know, low-quality black and white, um, you know, Quest stuff. And you can see that the, the monitors get superimposed right on that. Um, and if if this comes through the video, I'm not sure if it's going to. I, you can kind of see that the monitor on my actual laptop sitting there with the keyboard mapped over top of it, along with all the other stuff that's sitting on my desk. Um, but I kind of like just the regular VR mode. With the Quest Pro, I guess the pass-through is a lot better, and that's kind of what that MKBHD video showed. Um, but yeah, you can do some interesting stuff. Like I can pass through my desk itself. Again, I don't know if this comes up in the video that the Quest is recording, but um, I can actually see what's on my desk a little bit better in this, just this little section right where my keyboard or laptop would be. Um, so I can turn that off. And then they've got like a desk whiteboard set up. 
where you can write stuff on your whiteboard. I'm going to move my computer out of the way for a second. I'm going to try that because I, I know that so I'm going to do get started. Oh, yeah, so I cleared the desk area and you can hold the controller backwards like this and you should be able to draw on it. This, oh, so it looks like it's making me do this mapping with a circle. Okay, that's cool. So then you can draw right on your desk. This works better to me than the um, than the virtual whiteboard uh, because I'm actually getting resistance from my desk. So I can actually, I mean, the, these controllers, they're, you know, they're very awkward to, to write with, but I could, you know, I could you know, do this one, you know, like that kind of thing. Like that's clear enough that it's it's readable, legible, but doing it. So I'll I'll try doing like a workroom. So let me try joining that real quick um, to show what that's like. I'm banging into stuff on my desk here <laughs> because <laughs> because I, I don't have pass through turned on, so I can't see my desk particularly well. So it, it'll take a second to boot up the workroom. You'll see we're kind of sitting in the uh, Borg whiteness for a little bit. Okay, so now we're in a workroom. I have a test workroom set up. Um, and you'll actually see I already wrote on the whiteboard in this room. I didn't realize like it saves all this stuff. Um, so you can see the interface is pretty easy to use. You can pull your computer up here too. So um, I can pull up my, um, my MacBook again. Uh, and you'll see it, it's you know, collapsed down to one screen. I can do like screen sharing and screenshot. I can change the screen size, it looks like. And I think I would imagine if I were in a workroom with other people, I'd be the only one who'd see this. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would show to other people. But uh, you've got controllers here, so you can like mute yourself and um, you can mess with the room itself. So, like, you can, like, if you have meetings, you can do that. But you can customize the room. I'm in conversation room right now. You can change it to the layout of a meeting room. Um, I mean, you can see it, that doesn't make a particularly big difference, but, um, presentation layout, I'm sure would make sense. Like we're all sitting watching someone stand up at the whiteboard and present like that would make sense. Uh, I haven't looked at the breakout rooms yet, but I mean, sure. It makes sense for you'd have different people in different rooms doing stuff and, you know, different sections of the room doing stuff. Uh, I don't have a ton of space for my room mapping. So um, it's not particularly easy for me to do any of the stand up and do things part, but let's see if I can actually show a little bit. So I'm actually gonna tell it to go to the whiteboard. And if I turn around again, I don't know if pass through shows up on the videos or not, but it shows that this whiteboard is here and I can click continue and then I have access to this whiteboard. Um, and this is what, you know, to me feels unnatural because I'm basically writing in space here. So um, if you're this far away, like I am right now, it doesn't write very well or it doesn't pick up at all. So you have to get to exactly where that board was. If I could <laughs> have an actual wall that this was mapped to, maybe I could change position to do that. But that's easier for me, um, for sure. Um, looks like maybe I can make selections or this might just be showing people what you're looking at uh, you've got an eraser you can do sticky notes so you know i can put a sticky note up here and then i can write on it you know like imagine we're doing a sprint planning session or something you could you know you could do that so that sticky note would be there um i wonder if i can yeah so the sticky notes that's cool you can move them pretty easy um so it looks like you can add files so you can upload files and then use them for this. So I can imagine if you had an image of a website or something you're working on or a project you're working on, you could whiteboard it together with everyone. Um, you can create new whiteboards and stuff. So um, the wall of my room, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, I'm, I'm touching the wall of my office right now over here. So this is where a little bit of problems comes up with this. And you can kind of see if you look down, my pass through is starting to show. So I think uh, if I need to get down to the other side, the, the white would just jump using that. And then that's how I wrote this stuff on the board here. I was doing that. Um, 
Let's see. Let's say I want green text. Yeah. So, I mean, rendering and how this looks is actually not bad. But, um, yeah, this is, this just does not feel natural the way I'm doing it. And apparently you can only write with one hand at a time, it sort of looks like. But, yeah, so that's still a little weird. But if I want to go back to my desk, I just say, yeah, I want to go back to my desk. And I'm going to come back over here and sit back down. And, yeah, I'm going to use my desk. Um, it's like what the workroom section's like. But um, the thing that... To me, like this office setup and being able to easily use multiple monitors uh, without actually having multiple monitors seems like it would be a really cool way to maybe do this kind of office thing on the move when you're not at your your home office and you want to get some extra monitors. Maybe when you're traveling, packing a headset's a lot easier, although they are kind of big. <laughs> um, but I could definitely see that being useful for that kind of case. Um, one. I also think that you can use something like Shadow PC to hook up computers that are like remote computers that aren't even ones you have in your office. Though I don't know how keyboard pass-through works on that. You can Bluetooth keyboards to the Quest itself, but it only supports this mapping like this, where it automatically maps your um, your laptop. It only supports this for a few keyboards. So it's a few Logitech ones and the MacBook Pro. Um, but yeah, you can see the hand tracking is actually quite good. Um, it can see my hands really well. Um, this is using um, just the the cameras on the the, the the quest to do it. But yeah, um, I thought this was actually a lot cooler than I expected it was going to be, especially with the Quest Two, the much you know the cheaper headset. This thing, uh, I got it for the headset itself. I got like for 150 or so on eBay. I think, and then uh, the big bummer was you cannot set the system up, even though even if you wanted to use hand tracking, you have to buy the controllers to get your setup going. Um, and, and these were another seventy five dollars a piece. But so you, you know, basically for three hundred, I got this setup working, and it does work pretty good. It's really uncomfortable. So like the weight of this sitting off the front of my face uh, is tiring. Uh, it's difficult to get the everything lined up really well with a regular meta quest to to um to really feel i couldn't do this for hours you know um but for a short session like you know just goofing around with this this is actually this is surprisingly good um i tried horizon worlds and like that feels like a silly gimmick but this actually is pretty cool um so yeah that was that was kind of the experience I had this morning, and I wanted to show it off because um, folks were asking me about it. Thanks.